、えー、皆さんこんにちは本当は日本語でやった方がいいんですけれどもあの今日国際学会ので英語でさせていただきます、えー、Good afternoon everyone I would like to welcome you all and thank everyone for coming this symposium We invite、uh, three experts from veterinary, aquatic, and the medical field. And,、uh, and uh, one keynote speaker from USA. And in addition,、uh, there is a closing remark from the medical field. Antimicrobial resistant bacteria are currently a major threat to human health. Antimicrobial agents have been active use in veterinary medicine, as well as human medicine. In particular, they have greatly contributed to the stable production of inexpensive and safe livestock products. However, it is true that、uh, resistant bacteria have spread along with a wide increased use of antimicrobial agents. In the field of animal husbandry. The Global Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance, adopted at the General Assembly of the World Health Organization in 2015, supported the basic concept of the measure taken against the resistant bacteria as a One Health approach. Following the Uh, action plan on the,、uh, following the recommendation of、uh, WHO Global Action Plan, the National Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance 2060 to 2020 was publicly announced in Japan in 2060 as well. So, our symposium today focuses on、uh, One Health approach to the antimicrobial threat. Uh, I'd like to introduce the first speaker,、uh, Dr. Masaru Usui from Lakno Gakuen University. And、uh, his presentation is about the role of fly in the circulation of antibiotic resistant bacteria and the antibiotic resistant gene among humans, animals, and the environment. Great. Thank you, Professor Tamura.、Uh, today I will talk about the role of flies in,、uh, in circulation of antibiotic resistance among humans, animals, and e n v i r o n m e n t As you may know, antibiotic resistance、uh, was a global public health concern. In 2013, the problem of antibiotic resistance was top. top Of the agenda at a meeting of international science ministers in G8 summit. It has been predicted to lead to 10 million casualties annually by 2015. So, some countermeasures against antibiotic resistance need to be taken quickly. In fact, at the 68th World Health Assembly in May 2015, the World Health Assembly endorsed a global action plan to tackle antimicrobial resistance. It has been thought antibiotic resistant bacteria were emerged in animals caused by a lot of use of antibiotics in animal wheel. Emerged antibiotic resistant bacteria in animals would spread from animals to humans. It has been thought、uh, that the foods are the important direct routes of transmission of antibiotic resistance from animals to humans. And recently, environment are focused and the environment are important. To, important. <coughs> so, control the spreading antibiotic resistance, some of countermeasures against,、uh, against not only human medicine, but also animals and environment. This slide indicates the potential transmission routes of antibiotic resistance. Animal, uh, domestic animals, humans, and uh, uh, assumed route. And、uh, a lot of routes are assumed,、uh, mainly food. 
Recently, importance of environments are suggested, lake and rivers, uh, soils, wild animals, insects. In addition, some antibiotic resistance uh, would, would be circulated among human and companion animals. Today, I will focus on flies because flies are generally observed in both farms and human residence areas. Uh, flies would carry the antibiotic resistance from farms to human, human residence areas. Uh, to, today, I will talk about the three topics. Antibiotic resistance bacteria are transferred from food producing animals and sanitary insects. Flies move freely between food producing animals and humans. And sometimes they can fly over 20 kilometers and they can fly anywhere by their strong flight ability. In this study, to clarify the role of the flies in the spread of ESBL producing animals from food producing animals to humans. ESBL degrades the beta lactam antibiotics, including third generation cephalosporins, which are very important antibiotics in both human and vets. We have characterized a third generation cephalosporin resistant E. coli isolated from flies and cattle feces from a cattle barn. Uh, ESBL producer usually resistant to third generation cephalosporins and azetoranum. Some types of ESBLs were reported, such as uh, CTXM15 and CTXM14, etc. Uh, CDC categorized ESBL producing Enterobacteria acea as a, a serious threat to humans. This is the flow of investigating investigating E. coli from flies and cattle feces in the farm. Uh, collect the flies and collect the cattle feces, and uh, we focus on the intestine of house flies, so surface sterilize, uh, and then uh, homogenize and spread to uh, selective agar for isolating E. coli, and uh, determination of E. coli and uh, characterization, uh, such as susceptibility testing and uh, uh, genomic background. In this study, we isolated E. coli from 91 house flies, 68 four stable, four stable flies, 72 stable flies, and 93 samples of cattle feces from the same cattle barn. Uh, this table indicated the E. coli isolation rate. No E. coli were isolated from uh, stable flies. Both house flies and four stable flies feed on cattle feces. By contrast, uh, stable flies are blood feeding insects, so E. coli was not isolated from stable flies. This slide indicates antibiotic resistance of E. coli from several origins. This bar indicates a resistance rate and the ampicillin, cefazolin, etc., uh, antibiotic uh, and uh, each species. This resistance rate uh, trends are similar as the national surveillance uh, results. These results suggest that this investigating farm is not specific. In this study, we focused on the third generation cephalosporin resistant E. coli. Uh, we determined the antibiotic resistance genes of cephalosporin resistant E. coli. This table shows the type of antibiotic resistance genes of cephalosporin resistant E. coli from several origins. Beta lactamase, CTXM1 group, were observed all from all origins. So we investigated more details of blood CTXM1 group genes by sequencing. All CTXM1 group gene was identical to CTXM15. All isolated have the CTXM15 genes contained another, another resistance gene, beta-lactamase beta TEM type and TET-A. It has been known that the beta-lactamase CTXM15 carrying plasmids have been spreading globally. This antibiotic resistance gene is one of the global public health concerns. 
This slide indicates the PFG analysis of CTXM15 harboring E. coli. Blue box, indicate, blue box indicates origin is flies. Green indicates origin is a uh, cattle feces. These isolates were divided to major groups. However, these E. coli are similar. These results suggest flies carried several of the same clones that were detected in cattle feces. House flies carry the similar cephalosporin resistant E. coli from cattle in the same farm. And we analyzed the CTXM15 harboring plasmid. All 22 beta lactamase CTXM15 harboring plasmids are similar. For example, size and replicon type and other resistance genes and transferability. These results suggest that similar plasmids would be circulated among cattle and flies in the same farm. But the, but the results are only one farm result. So next, uh, to clarify the role of flies in disseminating antibiotic resistance between farms, we investigated the several farms. Next, several farms investigation. We collected samples in Okinawa Prefecture. This one, Hokkaido is here and Okinawa is here. The island is an appropriate location to conduct such an epidemiological study. Furthermore, uh, flies are active because of the island's uh, subtropical location. We collected samples from three swine farms, one swine avatar, three cattle farms. We collected 20 flies and feces in each sampling point and we isolate and identify E. coli, uh, same as previous study. This slide indicates antibiotic resistance rate of E. coli from several origins. Blue bar indicates flies in swine farm. Red bar indicates feces in swine farm. Green bar indicates flies in cattle farm. Purple bar indicates feces in cattle farm. The resistance rates of isolates obtained from flies were similar to those obtained from livestock feces from each location. It is clear in tetracycline resistance in pig farm, resistance rate uh, around 80. In cattle, uh, fry and cattle feces uh, around 10%. The resistance rate of E. coli derived from, from flies reflects that derived from livestock feces in the same location. Next, we analyzed the plasmid profile of tetracycline resistant bacteria. We could find similar tetracycline resistant plasmids in different farms and different origin. Similar plasmids are found in here and here and here and here. So these results suggest that flies would be involved not only in spreading clones of antimicrobial resistant bacteria within a farm, but also in the widespread dissemination of plasmids with antimicrobial resistance genes between farms. Antibiotic resistance genes are circulating among farms. Sometimes human also be a carrier and some carrier candidates are assumed, such as wild birds and wild animals. But our study showed how flies play an important role of circulating antibiotic resistance genes. Next, we thought what is occurred in house fly gut related to antibiotic resistance uh, dissemination. Here I showed that the antibiotic resistant bacteria and antibiotic resistance gene are transferred via flies from farms. Flies gut often contain pathogenic bacteria such as Shigella, Biblio, Salmonella, etc. So antibiotic resistance genes may horizontally transfer to the other bacteria. If the antibiotic resistance gene horizontal transfer were occurred in the fly gut, the risk for human health was high. So in this study, we investigated the antibiotic resistance genes harboring plasmids are capable of transfer to the other bacteria in fly gut. So to clarify the transmission of antimic antimicrobial resistance genes in the house fly's intestine, 
we conducted conjugation experiments in Freigat to investigate the possibility of uh, gene transfer of ARGs in house fry gut. We conducted plasmid conjugation tests in house fry intestine using uh, donor uh, uh, antibiotic resistance genes, harboring plasmid, and use as the other bacteria uh, recipient, use as recipient, and conjugation. And if you recipient receive the antibiotic resistance genes, and this recipient also resistant to antibiotic. We conducted conjugation experiments using the donors and recipients. Four donor strains have ESBL harboring transferable plasmid. They have different types of plasmids. So they are resistant to one of the third generation cephalosporin, cephotaxin, and recipient strains are resistant to rifampin chromosary. In the conjugation experiments, we use the three types of selection plates to select donor strain. We use the cefotaxime containing DHL and to, to select recipient rifampicin containing plate and to select transconjugant, uh, both cefotaxime and rifampicin containing plate. This slide indicates the summary of conjugation experiments. In Vitro tests were performed as control tests by general growth mating method. In vivo tests, house flies were kept in cage with milk and sugar as feed. And then, donor bacteria were put in the cage. These, were, these are the uh, donor bacteria. After six hours, donor bacteria were changed to recipient bacteria. After three hours, bacteria were removed. And after 24 hours, surface sterilized and homogenized with PPS, and the suspension was spread to selection agar for donor, recipient, transconjugant. And, and then culture uh, counting a colony and the, uh, calculate the transfer frequency. This slide indicates transfer frequency of in vitro and in fly gut by, by figure. Transfer frequency of in vivo are similar to those of in vitro. These results suggest that house flies intestine are favorable, favorable places for conjugation transfer. Cephalosporin resistance genes were transferable in house fly intestine. Horizontal transmission of antimicrobial resistance genes could occur in the house flies intestine. House flies intestine contains pathogenic bacteria, so anti antimicrobial resistance genes are capable of transfer to pathogenic bacteria in fly gut, and it would be a risk for human health. Uh, this slide shows a summary of today's topics. First topic showed spreading the antibiotic resistance genes from cattle. Second topic showed disseminating plasmids with ARGs between farms. Third topic showed horizontal transfer of antibiotic resistance genes in the intestine to inhibit the spreading of ARB and ARGs. Hygiene practice against house flies are also important in farms as and human residence areas. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh,